so today's topic is uh, shri rudram okay what is rudram and all these things we will see in this session like we know first of march is a mahashivratri okay and that day is very auspicious for uh, us being a jyotishi because we consider lord shiva as a uh, foremost deity of jyotish okay like lord shiva skanda kartike also we consider lord ganesha but among them lord shiva is a uh, what we call adhishtatri devata for jyotish okay so that's why this mahashivratri is important for all of us because in this session uh, we have 87 students here all of us are learning jyotish i hope okay so that's why that particular day is important so on that day what we can do being a jyotishi that we will see in today's session also we will see something that you can consider it as a remedy also that you can use in other sources so basically this has a collection of mantras okay that we do when we do rudra abhishek or on daily prayer also we can do it okay but what is the astrological significance of this okay that is our main topic for today okay rudra abhishek is doing uh, from thousands of years any 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 anybody know which is the first place in which rudra abhishek has done like it means anybody any idea like who has done the rudra abhishek first time adi shankaracharya sir no before adi shankaracharya also before shri ram shri ram at rameshwar uh shri ram shri ram was about to cross that uh, bridge राजा जब ये समुद्र मंथन हुआ था तो जो जब भगवान शिव ने विष पिया था तब देवताओं ने उनका अभिषेक किया था सबसे पहले शायद अभिषेक सी वी कॉल लॉर्ड शिव एज अभिषेक ऑफ प्रिया ओके ही लव्स अभिषेक लाइक लॉर्ड विष्णु वी से अलंकार ऑफ प्रिया ओके सो एवरी एवरी देवता और गॉड इज फॉर्ड ऑफ समथिंग सो इन दैट सिनेरियो वी कैन से लॉर्ड शिव इज अ अभिषेक ऑफ प्रिया okay so abhishek was uh, you are saying like in during samudra mantan also they have done abhishek that is correct okay but see this rudram okay when we say rudram so rudram is basically a collection of mantras that we derived from yajurveda so why we call it rudram see there is no any mantra like rudram in the veda you will not find rudram name in all four vedas if anybody know vedas in this session they can confirm it now the rudram we have given the name but the those are the collection of mantras from different different chapters we can call it chapter but the, technically those are not chapters in veda we have something else name correct so to praise anuvaka Lord, anuvaka. anuvaka anuvaka and we have suktas okay veda veda suktas also lord shiva so in veda there are thousands of mantras thousands of suktas anuvakas okay uh, for lord shiva you can do puja of lord shiva by using any of suktas okay not only rudrams uh, not only rudram there are many other mantras also 
Okay. Kalahasti is the first place. In India, we have Kalahasti. Okay, Kalahasti is in uh, uh, near Tirupati. Okay. Very famous temple. First time, see, Abhisheka is performed before that also. But by using Rudra, Rudra Yagya, Rudra Yagya, we call it Rudra Yagya. Rudra Yagya and Rudra Abhishek both performed first time in earth, in India, that is in the Kalasthi temple. That is Kalasthi famous for that. Okay, but, but, but now we are, uh, you have seen Kalasthi and all these things, remedies we do in Kalasthi. Correct? But the major signification of the Kalasthi temple is this. And then there is a special Linga. Anybody in this session who have attended my previous session in which we have seen Kalasthi is famous for which particular Linga? Vayu. Vayu Linga. Correct? So we have Pancha Mahabhutas. Okay. Air, water, fire, either, and sky. No, not sky. This is very fifth element. Agnita. Akasta. Akasta. For all five elements, we have five lingas. Okay. If you read the stories of those, uh, how how they formed, how they established in that particular place, you will see either some kind of, some goddess, god or goddesses uh, made that linga. Because that particular linga shows the element. If you see any deficiency of that element in your chart that we have seen in the previous session, how to identify that thing. So. In your horoscope, let's say, if your chart say you need to do uh, prayer for Agni Tattva, so you can select Agni Linga. You have to find it, like where, in which place Agni Linga is established. You can visit that temple, you can do Abhishekam or any prayer. This is the one way, okay? So from Kalahasti, this is the whole uh, practice. Is still going on of doing Rudram. So Rudram is not an exact word. So we call it Rudram, but these are the collection of specific chapters of Vyajurveda. Okay, we will not find in other Vedas. Specifically from Yajurved, we have chapters, and those collection of chapters we collectively call it Rudram. Okay, there are two parts, Namakam and Chamkam. We will see all these things in this session. Okay. We'll try to learn like what we can see in this Namakam and Chamka, what is the meaning of this and all. I will not I will not go for every uh, translation of every uh, Anuvakas and the commentary on that. That will make whole session very big. Okay, so I will keep it simple. That is relevant for us. Okay, I will teach only those things. And at the end, we will see how to identify which specific Veda is suitable for us. See, suitable, suitable by means every person, every chart is derived from some specific Veda. So if you do offerings, not only to Lord Shiva for any deity, if you do offerings on that specific, with that specific Veda mantra, you will see all your desires and whatever problems you are facing this, that will uh, manifest very fast. The devotee prays for the desired things, not specifically, but in terms of numbers. In terms of numbers. First, in terms of odd numbers from 1 to 33, and later in the multiples of 4 to 48. Okay, now I will tell you 1 to 33 what we are asking and why these numbers, okay? You will find, you will find like this, you know, Eka Chame, Tiras Chame, like this, okay? Eka Chame means 1, Tiras Chame means 3, odd number, okay? Pancha, Pancha Me, Pancha means 5, Sapta means 7, these all are odd numbers. Okay, so whatever we are asking, we are asking in the terms of number. Okay, 
these are the translation okay let this be granted to me one three five seven nine like this till 48 okay no, sorry till 33 also the four times four eight twelve now we are increasing the uh, multiple so what are these numbers okay first number represent the prakriti okay prakriti third number three gunas okay see we know three gunas sattva rajas and tamas five number represent five mahabhutas five basic elements okay earth water agni fire wind and space seven number represent five sensory organs including mind and intellect that becomes seven see these are the mathematics mentioned in that thing and whenever you are you want to ask anything ask in these numbers because actually these all things are covering every part of your life okay nine means nine openings of in the human body chidra we call it a chidra we can also say it navadwaras okay like ear these are the openings nose ears mouth like this there are nine dwaras the ten prana and sushumna nadi correct ida pingla five five and then sushumna nadi 13 devas okay 15th the nadis are nerve center in the human body 17th limbs of human body okay 19th medicinal herbs and this is the beauty of rudram at every shloka you will find some herbs okay some medicinal herbs to treat disease different different disease it is mentioned in uh, rudram okay like this till 33 you will find every 33 means what devas you know 10th is karod devi devata so basically these are 30 is koti koti means kind 13 33 okay 31 word like this so whenever we ask uh, in the rudram so those are designed in this format in numbers okay or number and if you see now let's talk about some jyotish if you leave this first part okay nature of prakriti we will discuss in some other session about this first one okay rest of other things represent your 16 divisional charts we are shoulder shwarga no? 16 divisional chart is showing this thing so now i will tell you one thing about the placement of moon we know moon is very important planet in our chart okay so the placement of moon in whole 16 your all 16 divisions in whole shodash varga from every varga you will getting these things okay now which varga and which all these things we will learn in our course in detail okay but for now just to give an idea okay these all odd numbers one 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 thing shows your one varga okay so if your moon is gaining strength in that particular varga so you are gaining the strength of all these properties okay like this three these are your d3 charts okay the risk card chart okay the placement of moon will tell you your dominancy over sattva rajasa and tamas like this okay this five mahabhutas you can identify this thing in d30 also okay and in two other division chart also placement of moon can give you this thing okay so you will see always imbalance in these sattvas okay like seven numbers the five sensory organs the mind and intellect okay so these five sensory organs you will see in the first harmonic cycle of the original chart from lagna to dodashamsha chart okay five sensory organs mind and intellect you will find in second and third cycle 
it means divisional child that is falling between 13 to 24 and the intellect in next cycle okay so these are the whole calculation of this okay so now you have two options either you identify your weaknesses from your uh, chart okay one by one one by one okay you can identify sattva rajas and tamas where is the disbalance then identify your panchma bhutas five elements okay identify your elements like this on which particular sensory organs of mind and intellect you need to work more that you need to identify like this you can identify whole 16 things in your chart okay that will become very hectic for you okay first to identify and to overcome this am i correct so this rudram is giving you direct access to keep balance in all these 16 17 things okay so when we say 33 devas okay so you can see this 33 devas you can identify this whole 33 devas in your chart there is a way of finding this okay and even you can identify which devas are supporting you and which devas are not in your favor okay so we can do something something we can uh, improve our habits we can do some remedies to gain their access it will become very hectic it will take a lot of time now on Mahashivratri, you have an opportunity for being a jyotishi if you can do this rudram okay and identify your veda your own language and listen that mantra during shivratri during the night of shivratri you can automatically balance your all 17 these things are you understanding what i'm trying to say okay because i can't like this 19 medicinal herbs okay there are 19 medicinal herbs which is required to keep good health okay those medicinal herbs also you can identify in your chart okay but i can't teach you all these things in one session only okay but what i'm trying to say is you don't need to pick one 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 thing from your chart okay on first of march is a day is a mura of uh, mahashivratri on that day when you do this uh, uh, rudram okay when you chant this uh, when you listen this chamukam part Okay, so in that chamkam, all these things come under the chamkam part. Okay, so when you do Abhishek and all, automatically you get the benefit of this. And after doing that, listen the, any Rudram Supta and Rudra Supta, anything connected with the Lord Shiva in its in its specific Veda mantra. If your Veda is either with, listen that in your Veda language. Okay, like this. Correct? Any doubt till now? So is, there, is there a specific time in Shivaratri that we have to do or throughout the night we have to keep repeating it? See, generally you can do throughout the night. Okay, you know, but people are suggesting Muratas and all, so you can check the Panchang and all, but I'm not suggesting any Muratas. Okay. okay, so whole day and whole night you can, best is night, okay, but also in day also you can do it. There's no any harm. Okay, so... Arpanji is saying that it's mean that one person or pandit cannot do Atirudra. No, impossible. Okay, one person can't do Atirudra. No, it's not actually impossible. One person can do, but it, you can think the number of days and the number of effort it requires. Okay. So that's why in Saptarishi also we are doing uh, this uh, uh, Rudra Vishay. So if anybody interested, they can participate there. So we are doing in uh, our Noida Center, Rudra Vishay on 1st of March at 4 p.m. in the evening. So you can connect with us via Zoom and we can do Sankalpam. Okay. So what about Shamachame uh, Mayashme Mantra? So this is same, na? Chame, like whenever you, you heard the word Chame, so that comes under the Chamkam.
So Rishi, Rishi is asking, do we need to take sankalpa for doing atirudram in specific number of days? Yeah, so atirudram, so for any kind of rudram, you need to take, you need to take sankalpa. That is a must. Okay. Either you do lagurudram or anything, sankalpa is a must. Without sankalpa, don't do any pujas. Okay, otherwise you will not get benefit. Okay, now what about the multiples of four? Okay, we have seen the odd numbers, now the multiples of four. Now, whatever you are gaining uh, before that odd numbers we have seen, now, all those properties when you acquire, so you need to acquire them with the authenticity of these multiples of four. Okay, it means, let's say, if you are asking Lakshmi, Okay, so in those whole odd numbers, Lakshmi is also the part. Now, when you acquire that Lakshmi, so you need to acquire that Lakshmi with the Sambhat, <coughs> with the authority of Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. That will fulfill your Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. That's why in Chamagam, we are merging the multiples of four with the previous uh, 17 Gunas. So, you mean whatever you acquire, that must fulfill your Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Okay, that must, uh, what we call, compatible or that, that must be a Veda Sammat and Shastra Sammat. That's why the eight, eight becomes the four Vedas and four Upavedas. So whatever activity you do, that must uh, have authority of four Vedas and four Upavedas. Now, this is very important. This is applicable for whole remedies. Whatever remedies you are suggesting or you are doing, those remedies must compatible with your four Vedas and four Upavedas. Okay, 12, this is 12 is also multiple of four, six Vedans and six Shastras. Okay, knowledge to be obtained from God. It means whatever you are gaining, whatever you are achieving from this Rudram benefits, all these things, that whole thing, that knowledge must come from God, not from other things. Okay, so you are gaining the highest form of thing by doing this rudram. Okay, the Mahabhuta, the number of letters in Gaiti. Like this, we have multiple things. Okay. So, you, so we will do some uh, other sessions also. In which we, I can explain you all the things in more detail. So let's, let's come back to our main Jyotish part. Okay, so these are the signs associated with Veda. Okay, now if anybody asks, like, what is the source from which we are? I am teaching this. I have already told you, Jyotish Mati Upanishad is a source. Okay, even in Krishnayam also you will find it. But Krishnayam book talks about the planets and Veda. Okay, there are there are some other sources also. You will find the association of planets with Veda. Okay, that you can find easily. And some of you have seen that too also, if uh, you are aware about this thing. But signs you will not find. Okay, so here all 12 signs are associated with some Vedas. Okay, so you will see Cancer and Pisces. Okay, falls under the category of Rigmi. Rest of other signs falls in other signs. Okay. Now, how to use it? Now, how to use it? Okay. There are multiple ways of you, uh, doing this thing. Like you are Jyotishi, so I am saying from your behalf. Okay. Let's say if you are in a learning stage, okay, if you want to learn. For learning, what we can do? If, if, you, if you go in terms of Jyotish, we can do remedies related to Mercury because that is shows our intelligence. Jupiter, knowledge, correct? But if you know, like Yajur Veda, okay, like let's say if you're uh, uh, that moon sign in that specific division, I will teach you how to identify that. Let's say in that sign, if, if, if that sign appears Leo or Aries, it means Yajur Veda. Yajur Veda is your dominant Veda from your chart. 
so it means if you want to learn if you want to do some remedies for learning purpose so you need to identify the sukta in yajur veda that gives you intelligence okay medha 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 power so anybody heard about anything about that any saraswati sukta or anything in the yajur veda any idea there is medha sukta medha sukta okay so like this you will find these things in every veda every in yajur veda also you will find it rig veda also rig veda maybe rig veda you will not find the medha sukta maybe some other sukta okay in sam veda also you will find it is it clear if you want to take take snapshot of this slide you can take it then we can go for horoscope assessment no reverie these are not based on the moon sign i will show you how so here in this technique i will keep it simple okay we are not going to more detail today so how to identify your uh, veda in which you can do offerings lord shiva okay so here we will use uh, two charts first is d1 chart obviously because it is our uh, main source okay and then we have d20 chart okay why see d20 chart uh, falls in the second cycle correct first cycle means d1 to d12 this is a first harmonic cycle okay second cycle starts from d13 to d24 so this d20 chart falls in the second cycle second cycle means that deals with the conscious mental plane correct so whenever we chant ved mantra we need to be very conscious first thing okay same thing we can identify in other divisional chart also that falls in the fourth cycle okay that we will not cover today so it means what that will show that will show me that will show if you want to materialize the uh, sound energy of veda okay you need to be in that mental state okay so this rashi this this thing what we will identify today that for for this thing you need to be conscious you need to be alert that only okay we can do it okay but the other cycle like other divisional chart which i which i was talking other divisional chart if you want to materialize that thing you need to be elevate yourself into some other level of consciousness correct transcendental cosmic level within this two level we can materialize the ved mantra that is a source of materialization okay no mantra is going to materialize in your uh, general awareness okay that's why meditation is must so whenever you do meditation so you will raise your awareness you will raise to that level and then do your chanting this is what recommended in our vedas correct that's why uh, in rigveda also there is a thing yati nam brahma bhavati sarathi okay yati becomes the sarathi for the person who established within himself This is our Vedam six. Yati naam Brahma Bhavati Sarathi. Sir, Yati means in this. Yati means see, there are okay. So again, this is in Samadhi Bhasha, na. So there are many meanings of Yati. Okay, so Yati generally we understand this no man, correct? Something like this. But here Yati means the person, the what we call the the person who have attained the uh, highest soul. okay rishis more than rishis those people will guide you in your journey okay those people becomes your sarathi help from the divine sources you can say it help of divine sources here yati means that okay yati generally if you check in internet in the dictionary you will find this snow snowman the person who lives in himalayas okay but himalaya also again that that connects with the highest thing na himalaya means the highest thing the person who lives there okay but here yati means the person who guides you who is in the extreme highest level that may be a lord shiva also okay that may be some rishi also so we can take help of any divine 
if we establish in that level. For, for, for that thing, you need to do regular meditation. That's it. That's the easiest thing what we can do. Okay, so that other divisional chart is showing you that thing that I'm not covering today. So we'll stick to D20. That because whatever chanting we do nowadays, we, are chant, we can at least chant with the conscious awareness. Okay. So here you can see, doesn't uh, the D1 pay check You first check D1. Okay, now we need some uh, Jyotish knowledge here. Okay, D1 Rashi Chakra. Okay, so here Moon is in Gemini, correct? So, Moon is the Lord of second house, that is in the Lagna, aspecting seventh house. Okay, so how is Moon in this chart? Malefic or benefit? So benefic? So malefic, it is Marak. Malefic. Okay. But uh, first house, mein jo bhi planet hota hai, wo auspicious planet ka jata hai. King of the uh, horoscope. Dual. No, aisa, aisa nahi hai. Uh, that is a just general statement. Okay. Achy. Achy. It can modify the result. And Achy. the uh, person who is saying like moon is a mark. Okay, moon is a mark. But we can't say it malefic on this. Okay, see, mark is a property one. Okay. It, it doesn't mean moon always gives you malefic. It depends. Correct? Sir, hmm. no, sir, can say it is in Kendra, so it, is, it loses its, its maleficence. Yeah, uh, if you apply this principle of uh, Lagu Parashari, okay, in yes, Kendra, it becomes the, it reverses the nature, generally we call it, na? Yes, sir. Here are the, generally for this Gemini Lagna, Sun is a malefic planet, okay, and Mars is a malefic planet. Sir, Moon being parivarta to itself. itself. Atma Karak bhi hai, sir. Moon and, moon and Mercury is uh, exchanging. Yeah. So, okay, so I will do something else here. Okay, so you all can pay attention now. So, till now we have seen this moon and all. Okay, so now uh, go to strength tab. Go to other strength. Okay, so here we can see moon is gaining shadow of 502.14, correct? That becomes a rupa of 8.37. And minimum required rupa for moon is I think six, six or six point five. So here moon is gaining more strength than the required strength. Okay. So the concept is if any planet is gaining strength in shuttle, correct? So they will deliver their full result. If any planet is losing in the uh, if have a less strength. Okay, it will not deliver its expected result. It can spoil the result also. Okay, this is how we use this bell now here. Okay, so now here we know moon. Generally, you can consider moon as a neutral for this chart. Okay, neither malefic nor benefit. Okay, being a Maraka planet, I would consider it as a complete benefit, but this is not also malefic complete. Okay, so here we can see moon is 8.37 more than enough strength. So moon can give, moon can give whatever he promised in the chart. This is what moon is saying in the chart. Any confusion till now? No, sir. It is saying moon is Atmakara, correct? So then it, then it again becomes very important for this chart. Yeah, so the number is saying, so here Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn are having a less strength in Rupas. Okay. Jupiter, Saturn. Saturn is having 4 points. Saturn is having very less. So Saturn is malefic. Saturn can give malefic result for this chart. Okay. Saturn is a benefic planet, but still, if it's not having the enough strength, it can spoil the signification okay it is a lot of eighth house also no? so this is connected with the eighth house 
Kavita ji, you need to be very careful. Because yes. Saturn is aspecting the eighth house also, from the second house. Okay, avoid the bad food habit. So whenever you speak or whenever, whenever you talk with anyone, you need to be very careful. Okay. okay because Saturn can uh, give some miscommunication or you will see, you will say something that is not good. Okay, yes. Mercury is also, no? Mercury is also speech. Yes. So Mercury is having 6.65. So Mercury's max, uh, minimum strength is 7. And in your chart, it is having only 6.65, less than required. Mm -hmm. So Mercury is also not good. And those Mercury Saturn are sitting in the second house. Okay, that can give some Vak Badha also. Vak Badha means what we call speech. Say Badha ho sakti hai kuch. Ya aapko face karna par sakta hai, ya aap Okay, so now this is how we derive the strength of planet and how to interpret it. Okay, if you want to read more about this, you can read the Prashna Mark chapter number 14. Hmm. Also, uh, in Sarvat Chintamani and in BPHS uh, Shadable chapter, also you can find it. Okay, so now Moon is near. Shina Chandra, correct. It's near. Okay. So uh now you can in the second tab in the in the second section in the screen, you can click right click. Yeah, here, right click, go to Amshabalas. Yes. So here you can see moon is not gaining any Amshabalas in D15 chart. Okay, it means whatever Veda, I will suggest after this, okay, from your chart, you need to do some hard work, okay, because maybe you will not do it because moon is having strength, moon is having everything, okay, what what we required, but in Vaishishakamsha Bala, moon is not having any balas here, okay, so whatever remedies we suggest. Okay, not only me, if anybody is assisting the remedy, so you will not do that remedy in that proper manner. So you will make some mistakes. Okay, so you need to be very strict about whatever you follow. Correct. So now, now as we know, see, if in this, in this chart, let's say if moon is not having strength, okay, moon is malefic, then after moon you have to check sun. Okay, this is the whole technique. Okay, but here we can see moon is having enough strength. Okay, moon is also uh, almost benefit in the nature, so we can go with the moon. Now you can go to D20 chart. First, we will do assessment in D1 chart from moon. If moon is not uh, benefit in this chart or not having the strength, then you have to check self. Okay, accordingly, you have to decide. D20 chart. Now in D20 chart, as you can see, Moon is in Capricorn sign, correct? With Rahu, Ketu, and Jupiter. Both Rahu and Ketu falls in single sign in Capricorn sign. Okay. And in your chart, in your D1 chart, Capricorn sign falls in the eighth house. Okay. So it means Capricorn sign means which Veda? Anybody remember? Capricorn sign means Samu Veda. Samu Veda. Okay. So if Kavita ji listen Sam Veda mantra, okay, on daily basis, it can resolve your 90% of problems in your life. But in D20 chart, it's falling in 8th house. Sorry, uh, Capricorn sign. Capricorn sign in your D1 chart is the 8th house, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maximum problems in life either comes from 6, 8, and 12. But your chart, in your this thing, Capricorn sign is prominent here. Okay, so you should do some with the month. Now, on 1st of uh, March, during March, you roughly perform Rudra Bishik. Okay, and you can ask Vedic Panditji whether they can uh, do Abhishekam with some with mantra. Okay, if they can do, that is the uh, good for you, okay. Yes. But generally, uh, some Vedic pandits are hard to find, 
they are very less and if if you, if you can find that is good otherwise let them do uh, with uh, rudram yajurvedi rudram and then after that uh, you can listen any samved mantra from internet also you can download any mantra okay this is what so it will reduce automatically your 80 90% problem because as you can see moon jupiter rahu ketu all are in capricorn and d20 chart is for spiritualism okay it is also for the spiritualism sir generally main rudrashtakam karti hu daily routine mein rudrashtakam aap karte hai na to wo acha hai usko aap continue rakhe ji wo karna bhi chahiye but ek samvet ka mantra zarur add kare saath mein okay ठीक है थैंक यू सर हम जा सकते हैं तमिलनाडु में जो आपने फाइव पंचमा होता कर दिया था हाँ वो भी कर सकते हैं बट उसमें कॉन्सेप्ट ये था कि उसमें मैं हाइस्ट जो अंश वाला में जो ग्रह आ रहा था उससे हमको पिक करना था अगर आप लास्ट ऑप्शन अगर आप थे तो